Mm, Dante in the middle of a crisis involving platforms, or lack thereof. Right, I got this from the hunter, I think. The Ophion Whip. Throw out the Ophion Whip to grapple enemies on objects and pull them toward Dante. Use the right trigger and the shooting button. You basically use the right stance button. <laughs> use the right stance and the shot button. Yeah, the Ophion Whip doesn't have too much. You can push or pull objects and enemies. That's really all there is to it. Remember, like the... when you're in a hack and slash game, always look around your environment. You never know what could be hiding or what could go unnoticed. Especially for what looks like could be some free stuff. I wonder if there are any lost souls around here or they're meant to be in this type of stage. I don't think so. If anything, they're not well visible. There's a reason I'm doing this right now. The thing is, classic Dante could use stinger or stabs to launch himself off surfaces like that. He could lunge. Yeah, lunge is the better way, way to put it, not launch. Oh, really? It went right through! Come on, you dude. I got it. Okay, where is he? The, there's a problem with having widescreen in this game. I don't know how to disable it. If somebody could kindly post in the comment below on how to get out past this because it's interfering with my gameplay. I can actually play a lot better without these two black bars seeing up my screen. And I really don't think it's the black bars. I think that's how the game is actually constructed. Yeah, but I, I wouldn't say so because they presented oh, no. it otherwise many times. Who's that supposed to be? Is that Sparta or some kind of like um, otherwise illustration? Like who? Who is that? Dante. Dante. Really is you. What else were you planning on doing with you? So now we're okay. back in the mansion. So what else have you got? Okay, none of these objects I can really destroy. I mean, everything's rubble here, but there are things to find. Treasures to travel upon. Use the copper key. Yeah, the key I picked up earlier was meant for this door. Sadly, you can't use it for the beginning. It's alright. I'm gonna get as many secret blue orb fragments as possible. Simple eradication. Kill all enemies within the time limit. Press back to begin. I'm guessing on D-pad. D-pad. Not it. Not working. There we go. It, it pressed back. Uh, right, because it's not selected to start. It's an Xbox. I don't play Xbox often. It's Xbox, not Xbox. Nah, a PC. You have a time limit, dude. You a, gotta, a, you gotta a PC kill them. has a better command. But, but, but save the arguments. I'm gonna kill all of them. I'm using uh, the, not the, the, the cancel with the Helmbreaker. Oh, that's nice. Lock me in in animation when it comes to arbitrary. Oh look, it killed by default. No, you throw them off the thing. I know Bayonetta does it, um, but here I just wasn't expecting it. It's a little weird because, again, first four games, don't do it. They don't do that. Nothing else here. Uh, okay, it's a green fragment. 
click for it. Four, four of these to create a hemp dwarf. Review all currently known combos by pausing the game to the menu list. Use training mode to practice chaining combos together. Training can be selected from the menu. And I said before that Bloody Palace is your training mode. Thing is, they don't have it. So does this game deserve to get ta points taken off for not having a, what is a, clearly a staple in the series? Yes. But if, of course, if you have it, but I have to unlock it by playing the game, that's a completely different story. I don't mind being wrong. Hell, sometimes I just wish I wasn't right about half the things I say when it comes to gaming industry and all this crap. All right. Sparta! Smash your way in here. They're here! They're here! They found us! What the hell happened here? We've got to get out. Now! Hurry! Come on! Shielded Bathos. Are they... Yeah, every time you see an intro there, you, you would confuse it with a mini-boss. But, again, the mini-enemies did have intros in previous games, and you don't have the, the aim the Osiris game, so you can't, like, whip. You can't throw yourself toward them, but at least I've got carrying on my side. Because you can pull, their left, pull them towards you. Oh my... I couldn't cancel out of that. Okay, so what do I have here? Wasn't it uh, right or left trigger X? There we go, I can pull them to me. That's that's a second option. First one gets rid of the shield. Second one drags them in. No. Come on. How did they find us? I know that voice. Doesn't appear to be anything unique over there. I just like to check my surroundings. Look how the camera shakes a little bit, just because it's it's viewing but like behind a pillar, but trying to catch Dante. Why don't you see being upgraded? Uh... The Arbiter, you mean? Judgment Trinity Smash. Yes, triple damage. There's also flesh and. Hmm. Flush. Hurl the axe. I think flush works better because of the range. Yeah. Yeah, the range. It's more suitable. Alright, that's enough. No more upgrading for now. Okay, and we're back here again to some place we can't really pass through. I'm not complaining about that, I'm just saying. Ah, okay, and into to a different room now, are we? Is that? Mom? Gotta admit though, changing her to a redhead. I naturally like redhead, so this is good to me. I love you, Dante. Fucking demons. Let's test out my newfound arbiter based powers. Oh, but did you see that? Such bullshit! Opion Demon Pull is useful for opening vulnerabilities on enemies who could block. Yeah. I just committed an insane act of bs -ery. Yeah, a lot of these combos, of course, require the same exact inputs that you would normally use for Rebellion. Is there anything else in the room to pick up? Not really to leave. Rebellion has the ability to change weapons. I, yeah, that was intended. I think they took that from the original Sparta Sword, which transforms from one weapon to another. 
Of course, when you have the original amulets tied together, here, Dante could just carry his own amulet from his mother. Virgil doesn't appear to have one. Okay, new weapon unlocked, Osiris. An angelic scythe particularly useful for dealing with large crowds of enemies. Okay, uh, I guess mash that melee button four times for karma. Uh, hit the launcher for prop. Three times in midair, you can press the melee button for the hanger. And the drop, I don't know if that's the drop or the launch, whatever. Same button command for rake. Passive Osiris becomes charged with devil energy when striking enemies. Oh, that's nice for an angel weapon. All right, so let's give it a let's give it a shot. Okay, the parry, the timing on it is nice. And I can change directions whenever I use prop and shredder. Whenever I move one to another, Osiris has just fully become charged and now deals extra damage with all attacks. Okay, so does this mean? Yeah, I can't charge it yet. Prop, moving it into shredder. Yeah, a lot of what it is with Osiris right now is just Dante hitting me hitting the melee button after I've completed my first strike. And I can move it into several strikes. I can keep it going. Huh, thought I was going to parry there for a moment. Okay. Looks like there's nothing here. Only one exit. And that's our angel. Okay, where'd that ghost go? Okay, yeah, showing me. I don't think you would get lost if you didn't follow the direction the first time. 